week's video is another gig diary. These are the videos where I try and give you a little bit of a flavour of what it's like to be a professional musician working in the UK. So I'm going to show you some gig footage along with some related stories and I maybe might stray into a little bit of gear nerdery but not too much so don't worry about that. So coming up I look at some very expensive guitars. We've got your eye on then Tom. I witnessed some flight case surfing. <laughs> I try and figure if my guitar has shrunk in the wash or it's just very far away. I managed to get my favourite guitar sound I've ever got. And I managed to make some people laugh and look like Bart Simpson all at the same time. I'm going to do this, uh, this song that I wrote. Yeah. Well, I realised when I was putting together the clips for this week's video, there was a bit of a theme going on. The theme being that firstly, as a musician, sometimes you end up playing the same song quite often, sometimes even twice in a day. But on the flip side of that, sometimes you have to learn lots of new songs. Well, all musicians have a repertoire of songs they know. I mean, if you're a, an artist who plays your own material all the time, you've probably got an even more restricted repertoire than somebody who plays lots of cover gigs as well, like I do. So I play lots of different stuff as well as my own music. Now this first clip is from the first warm outdoor gig of the year. If you saw my last gig diary, you'd have seen me playing with Elvis at the Brighton Open Air Theatre on the south coast of England. And it was about the coldest I've ever been when doing a gig. So in this first clip, you'll see me playing the aptly titled Lovely Day, as it was a lovely day. Now I use my Quad Cortex with my acoustic guitar here. I use that for the looping, the octava, and the delay that you're hearing here. You'll also hear me forgetting to turn off the octave pedal, so I start doing a bit of a bass solo before I realise and turn it off. Now this was a party for someone I met exactly 10 years ago called Adam, playing at his 40th birthday party with a band. And we've kept in touch, and he booked me to play at his 50th, which was very nice, so that's what this gig was. So check this out, a couple of clips from an acoustic guitar gig. end of that gig I had to quickly pack up and get my PA system from home as it was only down the road and hot foot to my next gig which was about an hour's drive away and I only had about an hour and a half in between the two gigs. So this was a wedding gig with a five-piece band that I've not done a wedding with before. You may have seen on one of my previous videos a showcase I did with a similar lineup but this was the first time I played with this band and this is something I haven't covered before, but when you're doing weddings with a band, sometimes you're required to learn a first dance. Now, if you're lucky, it's a song that you already know and do, but otherwise, sometimes you have to learn it specially. And in this case, I had to learn this song specially, and it was Trouble by Ray LaMontagne. Now, luckily, it's not completely out of my kind of comfort zone, that type of music, but it is an acoustic-driven song, so I thought I couldn't really just do this one on electric guitar, which is what I'd have at this gig, so I decided to take an acoustic guitar along with me. I've done this in the past, and unfortunately, it's a bit dodgy because you're playing first song on acoustic guitar, you then have to set it down somewhere and do the rest of the set. And when I did this before, the acoustic guitar got knocked flying. It was my Maton, which is a very nice guitar, and it dented the back of the neck, which was very annoying. So I'm slightly reluctant to do it, but I have the perfect solution now. I've got my Mini Martin, not if that's what it's called, it's the similar model to Ed Sheeran plays or played. Um, and what's great about it is it's small, so it fits in the car with all the other stuff. It's robust, you'd have to go some to break that. And it also it sounds great plugged in, so it's an excellent option for this. So the first clip is of Trouble. So this is the first time I've ever played this song live. It's the first time the band have ever played it together. We don't rehearse these things, we just learn it separately. And the first time we ever play it is the first time that we do it when the wedding couple are dancing. So that's what you're going to hear here. And then just to illustrate my point about playing the same song twice in a day, you've already heard me doing Lovely Day once earlier on and now this is playing it again with the band but I thought it was a, quite a good solo as well so that's partly why I'm including this. Here we go.
aside from the gigs, my eldest daughter, who is pictured here very young, um, she's got interested in playing some guitar. She already plays piano and she has some singing lessons, but she's finally got into playing the guitar, so she pestered me to do a bit of practice with her. So just because I wanted to show this, here's a little clip of us playing together. One, two, three, four. to the gigs this is my favorite regular gig this is at the black lion pub in brighton we did this gig regularly until lockdown and it all stopped and it started again about two months ago um, and on this gig i think i got the best guitar sound i've ever managed to get the first clip you're going to see here is another song that i had to learn especially for the gig i mean we didn't have to learn this one but it's nice to do new songs and for some reason i didn't know this one this is given away by the red hot chili peppers and i never actually played this one before so i had to learn this one in the morning so here's a little clip of this see what you think first time i've ever tried playing it <laughs> Towards the end of the gig, at my suggestion, partly because my kids went to see Back to the Future the musical, well, we all went, and I thought it was absolutely brilliant, and they've played the soundtrack over and over again ever since, and they're obsessed with Johnny Be Good and The Power of Love, so both of which we did on this gig. But this is Power of Love, and I just got the best guitar sound I think I've ever got. It's using my new uh, Vertex FX Steel String Supreme pedal, plugged through my normal pedal board, um, using my Custom Shop Strat into my car viceroy amp so that's the basic setup but i use both sides of the um pedal the steel string singer i will do a video just on that pedal at some point but i haven't had a chance to do it yet but particularly on this clip when i flick it onto the neck pickup it sounds really steve ray vaughan which is kind of what i'm always going for so have a listen see what you think i'm really pleased with this guitar sound <laughs> things I haven't really shown on these gig diaries is the sort of grotty bit of doing gigs and that is the loading in and loading out. Of course it's never really any fun having to either carry or wheel your gear into the venues but I mean it really is what makes it a job rather than just a pleasurable thing to go and do that you'd probably do if you weren't getting paid but you know there we are sometimes there's not always great bits to the job. <laughs> <laughs> so this gig it was a wedding gig seven piece band we've got two brass players two singers drums which is ralph who you would have seen in my previous videos and he also does my original music and chris on keyboards he was in my last gig diary on a couple of the gigs with not the hoople so this was effectively like not the hoople hoople which is me chris and ralph and then some extra singers and brass players. So I've just got a few solos from this gig because I was obviously had something in my mind of doing some kind of repeated melodic patterns. I mean, I don't know why it suddenly came to me on this gig, but I think that's what I enjoy about doing gigs is that kind of creative element where you can think of new ideas each time. I'm not the kind of person who's learned solos and repeats them. I only know a handful of solos, note for note. So it's always nice to be doing something new and creative during these gigs within the sort of context of what's reasonable. Anyway, here we go. See what you think of these solos. I was quite pleased with these. <laughs>
Nigeria a gig with Christabel, who you've seen before at a venue which I've shown many times, the farm in Eastbourne. And we got lots of requests on this gig to play songs that we've never ever played before. Now the way we did it, Christabel got the lyrics up on her iPad. On my iPad, I've got an app called iRealBook Pro, which is basically chord charts and people post on forums all these chord charts for all these well-known songs and you can download these big batches of songs. And I have that on my iPad and if you get a request for a song and somebody knows how to sing it, you can just find the chords and hope they're accurate if you've never looked at them before. But that's exactly what I did. We got asked for As by Stevie Wonder, which isn't the easiest song in the world. It's got loads of chords in it. But the uh, chords were available on this app and uh, Christabel found the words. So we played this. We both obviously knew the song, but we never ever played it before. So we had a little crack at it and it went quite well. Here's a little clip. Then we played another song that we've never ever played before, which is uh, I Will Always Love You, which of course was by Dolly Parton, made huge by Whitney Houston. Um, and I'll just show you this little bit because I thought it was quite funny because we've never ever played it before. There's a kind of sign language discussion about whether we're going to do the key change or not. The last gig I'm going to show you but before we get to that I had a bit of a pleasant surprise walking to the rehearsal for this last gig um, it was in Camden in London and I was walking along and all of a sudden I ended up right outside what is billed as the biggest guitar store in central London now for some reason I didn't know this store was here it's Guitar Guitar which is where I actually I bought my Cor Cortex from online but I didn't know for some reason they had a store in Camden I knew they had a store in South London so imagine my surprise when I walk straight up to it anyway four days later i then went back with glenn who is a friend of mine who came with me to the gig we're like two little boys in a sweet shop aren't we <laughs> here's a little clip and there's a photo of me with glenn having a selfie with the eddie van halen frankenstrap which is the first time i've seen one in the flesh and i for some reason i really want one even though i know i will never use it for anything because it's not really set up in a way that i would use a guitar but it's just something about about it. I just love the look of it. For those of you who follow me on social media, you will know that I've been involved in this showcase for a new musical, a country music musical called Thank God for Nashville. For those of you who aren't following me, why not? Please go and follow me. I'm I am TJ Walker on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. So facebook.com forward slash I am TJ Walker, etc. etc. So this gig was at the Green Note in Camden and it was a showcase for the musical. We weren't acting or anything, but there were five of us uh, playing the parts of the different characters. We were singing the songs that the characters will be singing. And the plot was narrated by Balin Leonard. For those of you in the UK who are country fans, you will know who Balin Leonard is. He presents on uh, Radio 2 and he's got his own show on Absolute Country. So he was narrating the story and in between the narrations, we were singing the songs that our characters would sing. So it's an all original soundtrack and a couple of my songs are included in it. For some reason, from the side of the stage, I look a bit like Bart Simpson. I don't know how that happened. I've also done a guitar solo without the luxury of my loop pedal. Just the guitar and me. I had a little bit of a guitar solo in the middle, so that's what that sounds like without the loop pedal. And then I've also got a clip of me playing what is my latest single, so hopefully you've checked that out so already on Spotify. Um, also, the full video is here on YouTube, and I'll link to that. So here we go, this is the last gig I'm going to show you, a little bit of a clip from the Green Note in Camden of the showcase of Thank God for Nashville. Is there a chant hiding in the dust, a spider chrome shining through the rust? I think something that you could see, you found a way to better me.
tea sweet A pinch of soda around my margarita A thin splash of coke so much I can eat My better half and my good side Are no scenes in between A little bit of you Become a huge star Or both Cause you wanna be a drifter So you never put down roots Moving in your daddy's work And his shady upper suits So you stick around just long enough To keep me satisfied Then you set the screen to swing And in the middle of the night Like a little sun Like a little sun Hope you enjoyed the video hope it gives you a bit of a flavor of what it's like being a professional musician working in the uk if you haven't checked out my latest single my latest video i'm going to show you a little clip of it again here now i'll put a link to it in the description so please go and check it out please go and check me out on spotify or wherever you listen to your music and follow me etc add it to some playlists all that kind of good stuff um hit like hit subscribe on this video if indeed you did like it leave me a comment and i'll see you next week then you set the screen to swing in the middle of the night Like the winter sun of a summer rain I never know when you'll be back again Like a shooting star on a bluish moon Maybe I'll wait though it's tearing Just to find you're gone again Everyone must think you're my imaginary friend I'll pack up all your things again Memories I wish you'd do And put them with my broken heart Someplace I never looked